Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is bringing you a closer look at the Bomber 3029-6 by 4.5, or 4.5-600. This is a double-acting spring hinge, mortise type, okay? Here is the door leaf. It's smaller than everything else. Here's the frame leaf. It's larger. The 3020, let's dissect the part number. The 3029 is representative of the fact that this is a double acting spring hinge by Bomber. The 3029 series is their classic sort of double barrel, large springs inside uh, spring hinge. The dash six is a reference to the size. Uh, but more importantly, that six inches is a reference to the thickness of the door that this is capable of handling. There is a link below this video to the template. You can see on there that there's really no reference to six inch directly on there. Okay, So think of six inch as equal to the thickness of door. A six inch is going to be uh, something that you would use for an inch and three quarter thick door. Okay. If your door is thinner than that, you can't use a six inch. Yeah, it could, but you can't. It's not made for it. You would use a smaller hinge. However, this is the 4.5 or four and a half inch version, meaning that the frame leaf and the door leaf are different in that this is a four and a half inch height on the door leaf, 134 thousandths thick, which is standard weight for a um, Double act for a uh, standard commercial grade hinge, four and a half by four and a half or whatever is 134 thousandths. This is specifically intended to go into a mortise preparation in the edge of a door, wood door, metal door, whatever the case might be. So the frame leaf surface mounts to the cased opening jam. The door leaf mortises to the edge of the door. You don't have to mortise it, but then if you weren't going to, you would use just the typical 3029 dash six double acting spring hinge. Mortising it allows you to get a tighter margin uh, between the door and the jam, meaning the gap between the door and the jam on both sides. And we'll go over that in a moment. The dash 600 is a reference to the finish. This is a typical prime coat hinge. That's what 600 stands for, USP or prime coat. Just gray primer. It, this is intended to be painted. Now, looking back at that template, um, Everything that's really on the left side is, is dimensional uh, in, in nature. So if you were looking at a hinge and you aren't sure if you've got the right one, you could, I suppose, use the template to determine by comparing the template to what you have, okay, for dimensions. On the right side is really the important part of this uh, template. And um, I'm going to put this down now for a minute because it's about, it's not about, it's four and a third pound. So let's talk about the stuff on the upper right hand corner of that template. The entire right side has everything to do with determining the net size of the door or the size of the inside opening of the frame dependent on what it is, uh, dependent on uh, what size you need to make everything, dependent on the hinge that you're using. Sorry. So you're either going to have your cased opening already determined or you might have your door width already determined or possibly neither but you have to make a decision as to what something is going to measure so that you can determine the other thing determine your frame and then you'll get the hinge uh, pardon me get the door or know what the door is and then it'll tell you how much bigger to make the, the cased opening frame so the bottom line is this if you're dealing with a single door you can see in the upper right hand corner that we're dealing with frame opening actual door width plus the A dimension. The A dimension for the 3029 six by four and a half inherently means that you're mortising the leaf to the edge of the door. They're not even giving you dimensions when it's not mortised. That means obviously what it means. Your frame opening is the door width. Let's say it's 36 inch. Add 716 so your inside cased opening frame width has to be 30 six and uh, seven sixteenths. Uh, if you know the cased opening, let's say you have a 36 inch wide cased opening and you're going to use a 3-0 door, 
you know that the net door width needs to be 35 and 9 sixteenths as a result. Um, typical height is you know, undercut is fine for that, three quarter inch undercut, whatever the case might be. Now moving on, same sort of logic applies if you're dealing with a pair of doors. Now you're not working with an A dimension, you're working with a B dimension, which is 13 sixteenths. So you've got your frame opening plus the two doors added together plus 13 sixteenths. So let's say you had 72 inch uh, uh, wide cased opening frame. You, you knew that you were going to have to deduct 13 sixteenths. So now you're at 71 and 3 sixteenths. Divide that by 2 and you're going to be at 35 and just heavy on 9 sixteenths. Okay. So that's how you determine that math. Or in the event that you had 36 inch doors, 36 times 2 plus 13 sixteenths, you know you're at you know, 72 and 13 sixteenths uh, in that case. Um, mortising for this, as we said earlier, is just for a typical four and a half inch uh, sort of preparation that you would see on a common door and frame. Okay, Common door and frame. If I haven't already said it, available in several different architectural finishes. There is a link below this video now to the installation instructions, and they're just brutally straightforward, very simple to deal with. Okay. What you're looking at here is really a guideline in terms of where to install the hinges on the installation instructions. Um, in addition to that, the second page is going to give you the actual uh, information regarding the installation. It, it's painfully simple. These are tension collars here and here. Those are installed towards the top of the door. You install a tension, the, the tension rod into the tension collar and you rotate it in the direction of the arrow that's on the barrel, which is clockwise. And as you rotate that, you can see that you reveal additional holes. It's into one of those additional holes that you're going to insert a tension pin. And there are two in this package for one hinge because you need two. Okay? And that is by how you go by uh, uh, setting the tension on the springs. Um, looking specifically at the, at the installation instructions for that, remove the spring tension from each barrel by... In okay, so what they're saying is remove the tension in order to install these. You can't have any tension on the springs, otherwise you won't be able to pull everything open to get it installed. So remove all the tension that you're going to see there. Locate the hinges as shown. They want two at the top and one at the bottom. Align the center line of the hinge, uh, you know, with, with the appropriate location on the frame. So what they're saying is get the hinges attached to the door and frame, and it's going to be real loose because there's no spring tension set. You're going to want to shim it up. You're going to want to prop it open securely and safely. At that point, they're going to want you to get the door in the closed position and wedge it. Get it shimmed so that it's plumb. It's at that point that you set the tension on all your springs. That's how you're going to go about doing it. After that point, you're basically done with the installation. You should be able to push it open and it should close correctly and find its way back to center. It's that typical, it's that easy. Now the four and a half inch version, the mortise version, is less common than just the straight 3029, but nonetheless it is something that we sell relatively often um, and does allow a, a tighter margin between the doors and frames. And then the last thing that I'd like to show you is the logo, the bomber logo on the back side of the hinge, if you can see that there. Might be tough to see, but right above it says made in USA. A fact that bomber is quite proud of as a might represent them. American made product. Screws uh, are included, metal screws and wood screws, so that you're covered on that, whether you're doing a, a steel door steel frame or you know half and uh, half wood, half metal. Uh, they're in a chrome finish because if it's a 600 finish, they, they'll, pro they'll just send you anything that you're going to end up painting anyway. Bomber is a full line manufacturer of all things hinge related. Um, 
probably best known for this type of hinge, the 3029, along with, you know, a double acting cafe door pivots and they do lavatory hardware and a full line of architectural hinges, wide throw, swing clear, and every variant possible of that material bombers uh, likely capable of manufacturing. Excellent quality customer service, very good fit and finish, very good cost dependent on um, comparing it against other people with lead time calculated in. If it's something that Bomber doesn't make uh, in terms of having it on the shelf uh, and they've got a bit of lead time, always worth the wait. If you have any questions on the Bomber 3029 6 by 4.5 and, and a 600 finish or any other Bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.